How's everybody doing day after Christmas? Now, relax right off the bat because that's not Earth, okay? But what it is astounding is it's a great find. Now, quadrants, it's all quadrants, okay? And then, no, they didn't move the satellite around too much to change anything up because, see, they needed to keep a good look. And basically, you're going to see where Earth's at. Earth is right there, okay? Basically, it's layers, okay? Now, what we, what's great about this is we're going to get a good shot of the moon, okay? Because when we zoom in on this dark area right here, this is the same area I was showing you before that we turned counterclockwise. Uh, the big meatball, uh, we still really got a kind to... Mm, and this, this turns counterclockwise also, okay? But we have found a planet, okay? Uh, no matter what, Mercury's the same size as the moon. They try to bolt BS us, and yes, basically, uh, the Astronomy Society is very upset at the idea that since us taxpayers get the greatest telescopes that we can ever imagine, Soho Sechi, and this is our tax dollars, and then there'll be ones that they like it to so that we can share it together. So, actual factual, U.S. tax dollars, and other countries too... But who, you know, who's making the deals with our tax dollars because we pay taxes. We, NASA Project Soho Beacon is ours. So then we are in with other scientific communities around the world. And that's somewhat, not really that secretive, but, but at the same time, disclosure, disclosure. Okay, so no matter what, we have a planet that's down here. The interesting thing is we speak right now and or during Christmas Eve or Christmas, this wasn't Santa Claus, okay, because basically this is the very pronounced object that rotates who knows how fast on it, and I'm starting to wonder if that the idea that this node here, which we just basically says a point right now, so we take this out as being a point or a node, and I'm at 999, so my pointer works. And you can see what I'm keep on pointing to that basically goes, I'm not going to mess with the speed of the video. So, it seems to go in an orbital path of counterclockwise on the meatball, the cowboy meatball, which you're looking at right there, okay? Now, this is not Earth, and we're going to get a good, because basically we need to, and it's going to take more videos. This is great footage. This is going to be one just like when the satellite turned, which I still have not made a video with you, for showing you objects that because the, the satellite rolled over and kept the sun at an angle away from the lens and so forth so that it could do a total roll, and you could turn around and see Neptune, Uranus, Pluto. And that's is not the subject right now. The subject is, is we have found this planet down there, which is very exciting, because the idea that it is not Venus, and it is not Mercury, and it is close proximity to the distance that Earth is away from, yes, folks, because Earth is here in this darkness here, and when you see that light up there, more than likely, and absolutely is is that it's 100% correct that one of these three objects is the moon, okay? Either this side, or this, or that. And you can see the three things that I'm flashing that I'm pointing at. It's either this, kind of moving around that, 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 and quite possibly even, it comes into being like four, it could be that objects around here because basically that's earth right there in this darkness because that's the shadow of it doing it and they do it in layers okay so nasa was worried about letting you but at the same time what are they doing playing fear factor of making you think that this is earth down here doing this because this isn't earth now they're gonna say well we weren't trying to do that well at least we get to see that there is a planet down here okay so we're going to zoom in on that, and we're also going to zoom in on Earth. The first thing we want to do is zoom in 999, and we'll pop out real fast, too, and show you that you're going to see some electrical current in way more than one area through the vast distance of space. So I got it at the speed that they had it when they were playing it. Now, see, you, if you, and you can see that that electrical, and it comes above, over by Earth. Check that out. See that? 
gamma ray, basically. Okay, either that or supernova something way the heck out. Now, the sun is over here. This is Venus. And then this is the idea that this is out in front of Venus's magnetical. Okay. And it is rotating. You see, this node down there that you can still kind of see is going counterclockwise around this object. We're trying to figure out if it rotates at all, it, it should because since it's traveling through space and it travels damn fast. This is a planet down here that we find because of its atmosphere is doing a reactive flare to this meatball and the CME action of the sun and also the electrical that comes in flashing over top of Earth, okay? As you see there. So now we're going to zoom in on Earth. We know Venus is up there. Mercury's way the heck over here. Okay, but, but it's not basically Venus and Mercury and Earth. Earth is actually f farther that way, okay, than Venus and Mercury. Venus and Mercury are closer to the satellite, okay? Venus, and then this is somewhere in the distance between Venus and Mercury. And also, we are at a proportional integral derivative to try to figure out if this is in front of Venus. It's magnetical. Is it closer to the satellite? I would presume and assume that it more than likely it's it gets really tough to to determine. We know Venus is close because it looks so large because it's close to the satellite and the telescope. And it gets you know this is between the the cowboy meatball and the uh, satellite. Uh, duh, you see what I'm saying? But you got the the cowboy meatball for the background on that planet. Okay. Then Earth is farther away and directly in front of the sun. You see? And we were able to prove that in my other videos, so you just have to go back to my videos and you know that all this is actual, factual, 100% fact. Okay, so let's zoom in on Earth and get a look there and then also this planet. So we're going to go pump up a 999 so I can uh, point real fast. This is just an awesome find. I mean, it's, you know, it's Soho, is, it's our tax dollars are doing it. It's Sechi and every branch of the U.S. military, they're doing a great job. And there, we're already in on Earth, okay? Because basically, this is Earth, and they just layered it for colorization. And it would be nice if they give us a shot, because you know that this is Earth. And if it's just it did the dark side of the flare, and they never got it in, because we have to look at the time and the footage. If it's 24 hours, they should have let us see. But they, for whatever purposes, this is Earth up here, ladies and gentlemen, okay? I know that this is Earth there. We're in there. That's, this is our Earth's luminosity, okay, and our magnetical line. Our magnetical line is pretty much right there, the top peak of that darkness there. That's our magnetical line going up and also going down. And the moon is pretty much, the moon is in here somewhere, like either that's the moon right there or that's the moon. And as you see, we have a lot more close by Earth than what, but then again, this could be vast distances for this stuff out in space, too. But our luminosity shows that these are the next nearest objects to the Earth there, close by. Okay? Either that or the next closest stars. There's luminosity there. And this is Earth, okay? And we're going to come down a little bit. And we get to the meatball. And then we come down a little bit more. And here is our... Where is it at? And there is it flashes come up a little bit to watch it and there is basically there is a planet that has an atmosphere does the CME rea atmosphere reactive flare to electrical energy in space and then you have to see because you can see that the meatball goes along and then it makes that atmosphere on that planet do that so we have a lot more elements to space and as you can see any human being being an astronaut does not want to go basically you take a uh, a drone a small uh, instrument and you go out and you don't want to kill yourself and yes basically na astronauts just orbit the earth and moon and we oh yeah America's been on the moon ladies and gentlemen okay so and we're gonna be on the moon so no matter what, there you go. There's a planet down there, and the cowboy helps us find it. And this footage, all 
is just awesome because there's a planet down there. Okay, so you can end up going to we'll end up sitting coordinates wise, being able to try to tell where it's at and so forth and so such. And so, as I say again, basically this is just going to be one video, basically just because this is just a great find. Okay, the meatball has helped us find a planet down here. Okay, and remember, Mercury's the same size as the moon. Mercury's a moon, for crying out loud, okay? They're sitting there trying to know oh, there's water on the moon. Let me get into PSYOPs, okay? So the idea that, okay, the end of the world's coming someday, and then they send whoever that they don't like off to Mercury and tell them that it's a planet and it's inhabitable and there's water on it. Yeah, right, my ass. You'll roast to death there, just like everybody knows about Venus also, because the idea there's been a Russian instruments that have went up to Venus. Venus is hella flipping hot. It's electrical energy, okay? Uh, we have to get down to the temperatures, and basically that's where the poker cards are getting to be, is the idea that, okay, what is the actual temperature on a planet here or there? Number one, Venus and Mercury are too goddamn close to the sun to occupy, okay? Even Mars is, to, is probably have some issues, because no matter what, we know that Mars is radioactive. You don't want to occupy Mars. It's too damn radioactive. We've seen the data right off the bat when it came in, okay? This is a great find. We have a planet down there. We have some always constant uh, solar weather going on. As you can see, the flash going across the sky, gamma ray, whatever you want to call it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is Earth there. Earth is in this area here, okay? And we know it from the quadrants of what I've been able to find and show you that that was Earth before. And then once I let you know that that's Earth, then they start sh uh, layering out Earth so you really can't kind of tell where it's at. And then they try to make you think, okay, now they're gonna, everybody's going to be scared shitless because that's Earth over here. That is not Earth down here, okay? We have found a planet, all those magnetical lines that have been showing you, and there's a dark uh, object that is rotating through our, uh, at least it's traveled through our, uh, and traveling currently through our solar system, and it went up by Jupiter and some other stuff that I show you in another video that I'll have loaded today. Uh, actually, I think I'll load it before they load this. Actually, no, I'm going to load this one first. This is just too damn dramatic. This is not, absolutely not Earth down there. This is Earth here, up here, and it's hunky-dory safe. We're just doing just fine there. You'll see in future footage, and that's actually, let me hurry up and pop over to B and see what we got on the 23rd, or if we just get the 22nd. So, let me go up a little bit so you see here, and that you know that we're at Sechi, and this is all actual factual data. And let's pop over to B. And as you see, we're over at B, and you can just see, and you just watch my videos and follow it, and you'll realize actual factual that... And I just got rid of a bunch of stuff off my computer, and I do not. It's just basically, it's Big Brother, Window, I know, SCADA, so anyway, Windows, 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 is, yep, they look in your Windows, they look in your computer, know all about it. So, actual factual, Earth's doing just fine, and that's not Earth that's down there when I showed you earlier at A, okay? I mean, it was where I told you Earth was at, don't get me wrong on that, but like what I'm trying to tell you that's down by the Cowboy Meatball, that is not Earth. There is a planet that's been found there, okay? And the cowboy meatball kind of basically disturbed its atmosphere enough to, for that. And basically, then we go back to that real fast because basically all you're seeing here pretty much is what we already know of. There's Earth, and yes, our, our atmosphere does that, okay? And we rotate counterclockwise, Earth does, okay? And that's our atmosphere doing it. And then that's what the blackness on the other side, on the other shot, they just blackened it out. So always watch on full screen, we're back over here, and what I'm going to do is just zoom in on our planet that we end up being found down here. And this is Earth here, the dark area up there, where I was showing you the moon pretty much has to be there, and the closest things that are by Earth and so forth, so such. We'll go to 400, we'll scroll over real fast, get us to the date, come up, and you'll see that basically that is not Earth down there. And yes, the energy of this huge meatball helps us find whatever the heck is there and we're going to blow in real fast at 999 and that's not earth everything's just hunky dory on earth and earth is up above not we've been around for billions of years and that's why i'm trying to throw this out before i throw you the uh, black object that is basically and it's not really black like i, I describe in the video i tell you that basically you can't go by color because this is all colorized okay so this is electrical energy and that is a planet out there because it's got an atmosphere that does that it's got magnetical to it like i say titan there's lots of